something to Mark Fix's stuff. And the answer is, whip out a knife and open up the package that Mr. Andrew Brown has sent me. I'm really excited. I know one of the things that's in here, but I'm not entirely sure what else is in there. So uh, I said there was some extra stuff that I might be able to get going, and we shall see. So approaching this gingerly. And I'll just let you know that I've had to wait a day for opening this because I, I needed to do it on video. Okay, and, uh, if it's smelly pants, I'll be grateful but less impressed, Andrew, just for the future. And if it's counterfeit fibres, money's money, eh? Let's see. Okay, oh, seems to have been packaged by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, even Skynet won't get into this one. Goodness me. Always put the knife safely away inside your boot where miners won't find it. Although I don't know what that's got to do with anything. What? Do they think miners have been down a mine for so long that they'll be able to, like, I don't even know. Let's see. Wow, I can see some cool stuff here. Well, first off, two games on one cart. If you can see that. Yeah. And it's got the legend that is Dizzy. Fantastic Dizzy for the Mega Drive, so I'll review that. Thank you very much, Andrew. Really, really pleased. And um, I actually repaired a uh, Sega Mega Drive the other day with two controllers. So uh, that turned out to be a capacitor. So uh, that's a nice one there. Look forward to a review for that soon. Just pop that there. So, Fantastic Dizzy and Cosmic Spacehead. Awesome. I've not played Cosmic Spacehead. In fact, I don't even think I've heard of it. So. This will be a really interesting one for me. I actually can't wait to see to see that. And of course, I love Dizzy. Um, being he's got Spectrum origins. So let's see what else we've got. Now, Andrew knows that I've got a, a penchant for all things Sinclair. So the next thing here looks very much like a DK Tronics joystick adapter. However. There is no joystick port on the top there. Look at that. That, my friends, is a light pen interface, if I'm not very, mis very much mistaken. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get that going, but we'll work something out. DK Tronics, what I can only assume is a light pen interface. Um, it has a jack socket on the top. Um, I know a couple of people on the internet We'll know more about this, um, but yeah, DK Tronics looks absolutely wicked as well. I, ju I just like having this in my hand, it's awesome. What do we have here? Goodness me, this is a very impressive piece of kit indeed. The RAM Music Machine, how awesome is this? I'm genuinely excited about this. This is a MIDI interface for a 48k Spectrum. It's a bit like trying to tow a caravan with a micro machines, really, but um, wow is all I can say, wow. Oh my gosh. Um, I think that this is probably going to deserve a teardown just to have a look inside and see how they've got all of that MIDI, MIDI stuff inside. Fantastic, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look, MIDI in, MIDI out, and MIDI through on a Spectrum. Who'd have thought it? You know, and they did boast with the, uh, the Atari ST that it was the first machine that had proper MIDI capabilities. And you know, it's a great MIDI machine, I've got one myself. And the final item in here is a Cheetah Spectrum. And for those of you that don't know, this is actually a programmable drum machine for the 48K Spectrum. 
Again, a fantastic, fantastic piece of computing history. I am so grateful. Andrew, thank you very much. This is absolutely fantastic stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Some sort of output there. Again, not entirely sure how it works, but we will work it out. Oh yes, we will. So um, yeah, genuinely, genuinely very happy. Thank you very, very much again. Um, I'm gonna leave you now. So this is Mark of Mark Fixes Stuff signing out and I'll see you in the next exciting episode.